Hey, hi guys, this video is all about creating that cool anamorphic look on a low budget, or as Cheetah Fair Dance would say, anamorph fake it until you make it. Now I'm sure most of you already know Cheeto from his informative videos about anamorphic filmmaking, uh, but if you haven't already subscribed to him, then make sure you head on over to check out his YouTube channel. Anamorphic adapters prices on eBay are crazy right now. So I felt like bringing cheap back into the mix. Anamorphic it until you make it is a guide with plenty of techniques on how to achieve the anamorphic look using gear you are likely to own or that costs next to nothing. Anamorphicing is cheaper and easier than shooting scope and I dare you to tell the difference by looking at the results. Check it out, take the quiz, buy the guide. Links are in the description. So the guide that Cheeto created is a pretty cool way of simulating some of the characteristics of anamorphic lenses. Uh, let me first show you this test that I shot uh, using a cheap lens that was modded using some of the techniques from the guide. Now before I show you some of the other tests I shot with this uh, fake anamorphic lens uh, and also how it compares to an actual anamorphic lens, uh, how about I let the man himself show you how you can also modify your lenses to get that anamorphic look. Hi, my name is Chit Fahadungs and today I'm going to show you a little bit of how to create the anamorphic look without using anamorphic lenses. We're going to modify this lens, which is a Gallius 44 or a Helios 44 if you don't care anything about Russian. Um, and we're gonna replace its aperture mechanism from this strange octagonal shape into a nice oval. Uh, ovals are a characteristic of anamorphic bokeh and we're gonna do so by using oval inserts. These are thin acrylic discs and you can get them on eBay. They usually come in transparent and you can paint them in any color. Since I want a simple mod, I'm gonna go for a black disc. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna focus your lens to infinity. By doing that, you're setting the rear group to protrude out and that's gonna make your life easier. From there, grab your lens wrench and on the two little notches on the lens, you can just hook the lens wrench there and rotate the whole thing until it comes off. It's a few turns. <laughs> it's good enough. And then this comes off. The good thing about the Gallius 44 is there, we are at the aperture mechanism. And all we need to do from now is just drop this disc in here. Boom, kinda, kinda like that. And I'm gonna set it wide open and we're gonna put the rear group back in. I'm gonna screw it in a little bit with my hand, and then when it gets a little tighter, I can use the lens wrench to finish the job. So this is it. And well, now we're almost done. This is an oval, uh, but we can't mount this to anything because this is an M42 mount. So I'm using a rotating M42 to EF adapter, and that's my choice of mount. I'm just gonna screw this in here and try to mount it on the GH5 that I have here. So, get this out. And let's see how this looks. Um, it seems I did a pretty terrible job here. This oval is sideways. And if I shoot a little bit, you can see that the autofocus areas are going in the wrong direction. And that's half the reason I like the rotating M42 adapter, because I can take the lens off the camera, 
Put this over here. Set that to the side. The best way to align this is if you make the oval perpendicular with the little notch on the adapter. This is where it locks, and if you make the oval perpendicular to here, you can get it to work. So I'm gonna loosen these three screws on the adapter. One, two, three. And I'm going to rotate this, all right. So it's almost sideways, and I'm gonna put it So this is a lot better. I'm gonna walk it back. And then I'm gonna mount this on the camera again. And if you can see anything, this is already a lot better. Uh, so when I shoot, my autofocus areas are going as ovals and just like an anamorphic lens would render these out of focus areas. So this mod is just a, the simplest mod that you can do with this lens. There's a bunch of more extreme things you can do. You can paint the insides of the lens. You can paint the aperture disc. You can add a flare line in there. So all of these are more intense and time consuming modifications that you can find on my channel. But this is simple, this is straightforward, this is gonna give you a clean anamorphic looking image and you're gonna be able to trick anyone that's not in on your plans. All right, so now let's see how this fake anamorphic lens compares alongside a real anamorphic lens, which is the Vazen 40 millimeter. Uh, these tests were all shot on the Blackmagic Packet 4K camera. And uh, here's a quick focusing and sharpness test that I did in front of my house. Uh, this was just to see how each lens handles the depth of field. Uh, also, I wanted to see how the focus breeding was and the sharpness. So please watch this and then let me know which lens you guys prefer more and why. <laughs> Personally, I think both lenses have their strengths and weaknesses. The real anamorphic lens has that nice anamorphic distortion and the colors look better, in my opinion, right out of the camera. But at the same time, it's nowhere as sharp as the anamorph fake lens uh, from Cheeto. Also, working with the fake anamorphic lens is way easier since it's so much smaller, it's lighter, and it's also easier to focus by hand than the Vazen 40mm lens and not to mention the huge difference in price between these two lenses. Now here's another test I shot on the beach with only the available light. Uh, both lenses were shot wide open and that's where you can again see that the fake anamorphic lens is way sharper. Uh, here I used another tip from Cheeto's guide, which was to use a streak filter on the lens to simulate those uh, horizontal anamorphic flares.
uh, the guide that Chito put together teaches a lot more than what I'm actually showing in this video. Uh, it even has some cool tips on things you can do in post-production to add that anamorphic look. Uh, if you guys want to get the Anamorph Fake It Until You Make It guide, then head on over to the link in the description and use the coupon code TOMANTOS to get 10% off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you find this useful, and Anamorph Fake It Until You Make It. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so you can stay in touch, and uh, otherwise I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!